Today I'm going to be walking you through how I drew this Lego Captain Rex minifigure in the hopes that you can take a couple of things away and hopefully use them in your drawings as well. So with that said, let's just dive straight into it. Starting off with the sketching, which I use the grid method for, and you can see here that I also have a printout with the exact same set of grids that I have on my piece of paper. This allows me to go, hmm, where does this body part cross this line on the grid and then put it in the exact same place onto my piece of paper. And doing it this way makes it like five times more accurate than doing it freehand as I have all these really great Great reference points just telling me where everything needs to go. And once I've done this, I can then go and rub out most of the grid lines and also use a kneadable eraser on the sketch just to remove any of the excess graphite that would otherwise smudge during the coloring in process. I now move on to the ink work, starting off with the fine liners, which I basically use to outline the armor details and also clarify some of the edges. I then went in with the alcohol markers, which I didn't really use a lot of on this drawing, but I just jotted in where some of the basic tones and colors needed to go. Next, I entered the most time consuming stage, the colored pencils. And it's now that you can really Really start to see why I did this on toned paper opposed to white. As you can see here, the lighter colors, or in this case, the lighter grays, they just have a lot more pop to them. And on the topic of gray, for this piece, I use predominantly cold grays as well as a Payne's gray, as they have a bluish hue to them, and I find that this helps to bring the color saturation of the figure up, which just prevents them from looking dull, that can sometimes happen if I use like warm grays. But to take this even further, sometimes that hue just isn't enough, so I also use like a dark indigo in the shadows and also a light cobalt turquoise near the highlights. So we've now looked at my color choice, but let's look at how I actually use these pencils. Now I like to work in layers where I first outline the darkest and where the lightest areas are. And then I go in and fill the space in between kind of half-heartedly using a bunch of intermediaries. And yeah, I'm not being too particular yet. This is my first layer and it's kind of grainy. So I then go in with one of these intermediaries and just kind of smush it all together. And this will make it fairly smooth, but it will also significantly reduce the contrast. So I then go back in with those original colors from the first layer and just redarken the shadows and brighten up the highlights. Except this time, because the page is already pretty saturated with pigment, they'll go down a lot smoother than that first layer. Now a pro tip when working on any drawings is to split it into sections, and for minifigures this is pretty simple, it's just a head, body and legs. And I'd highly recommend just occasionally switching up the section that you're working on, this will stop you from getting bored, and also when I come back to a section I often pick up on things that I missed the first time round. So yeah, that was a bit of a quick crash course into how I drew this Lego Captain Rex, and if you found anything useful within this video, please hit that subscribe button and also if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and with that said I hope to see you very soon with some more drawing videos.